This is a guy who makes fantastic knives. And uh, I don't know if it's his living. I think it is because he mentions having uh, people working for him. So I think that's what he does for a living is uh, make knives. And he is experiencing the problem. This is his, you know, photo on his YouTube channel. And I want to show you what I have experienced in a way I have found around it. You see this down here in the bottom? And the dark outline around it, but especially here at the bottom? I call it epoxy halo. And uh, what it is, is a couple of things. A drill press that's got some wobble in it or some run out. And it doesn't drill completely concentric holes. And another thing is you find yourself purposely wallowing out the hole that you drill and handle because uh, quarter inch pins will not fit in a quarter inch hole. Will not, will not, will not. And uh, I'm going to do a video on how I found a way around that. Basically, it's uh, it just buying a reamer uh, a couple thousandths over a quarter inch. And you drill your quarter inch hole, and then you ream it with a reamer that's uh, slightly over. So when I drill my hole in the knife metal, <clears throat> I drill five thousandths over a quarter inch. And when I drill my uh, handle pin holes, I drill four thousandths and I'm waiting on my three thousandths over to come in, and I'm gonna see if I can get away with that. And that is how you avoid the epoxy halo that he has here, the outer round. Uh, you know, I say you can't get a quarter inch pin in a quarter inch hole, you can, but you will split handles. And the way I used to address that problem was to put my pins on my grinder with uh, a scotch Sprite belt and whittle away at the pin until I could make it fit in the hole. And you know, it's hit or miss. You might take a little bit too much off and then you've got a halo. Anyway, he's using Corby bolts, but he's experiencing the same problem that I've experienced. And I have found a way to get away from that. Okay, I just thought I'd throw that in there because uh, Wedgetail Leather sent me a link to this guy's channel and I'm subscribing, just subscribed. And uh, because he, he's using the uh, stainless steel tool wrap and he's showing how he uses it without uh, putting... Anyway, that's what I'm looking for. I'm going to start buying some tool wrap and wrapping my tools to avoid the uh, decarbor decarburization burns that I'm getting on, on some knives, which, you know, you can sand them out. But my God, when you sand a blade up to 800 already... And then you heat treat it and temper it, and then you realize you've got decarburization burns. You have to sand, you know, back down to 320, and it's a lot more work on a hardened blade. So, anyway, okay, out to the shop. All right, we got it up on its legs, me and uh, Herculea. <laughs> now I'm going to start taking it apart. I'm going to separate. I'm taking this off. And then I'm taking this off of this. And uh, that should cut it about in half weight-wise. All right, let me get started. Okay, we're getting there. I'm going to bring that up in the shop, and then I can come back and get this. Say when. Okay, it's in here. Now, thank you for your help. Do you need the trailer? All right, I'll drop it in a few minutes. Oh, okay. 
All right, now that is going here. This is going here. That is going up yonder. And that is going here. I want to sit a minute. Actually, I'm going to go drop my trailer so my wife can use it. And uh, then I'm going to come and I'm going to have a cup of coffee. I'm going to turn my AC on. Yeah. Yeah, I'm that lazy. And uh, get, to, uh, get to it. Uh, all this is stuff that will not be going back on it. It's all the shrouds. So uh, I hate to, I won't get rid of it, but I'll have to store it somewhere. I think I'll take it down to my shop, my other shop. All right, we are making some progress. I got the big 12 inch disc sander took off of there and the jigsaw put there. I got the one by 42 took off and put right here, bolted down. Now, I got to unbolt this, and uh, I'm just going to set it on my kitchen counter up there along with that. I'm probably going to offer all these for sale, uh, you know, one price, just cheap to get rid of it. And then I'll move this up into the kitchen, and then by the end of the day, I will have that in the corner over here and plugged in and ready. I've ordered some 6x48 ceramic belts. Let me tell you, uh, this 4x36, I put ceramic belts on that when I'm uh, sanding my steel because the uh, oxide belts, they wear down almost immediately. And those ceramic belts are about 14 bucks each. And I bought 10 six by 48 belts two inches wider a foot longer well uh, yeah a foot a whole foot longer for uh, 10 bucks each and about 10 of them so that should last me a uh, god years because <laughs> i've had two or three i've had three belts forever for that because they don't wear out very quickly and uh when they do feel like wearing out you take the edge of a real sharp piece of steel and you run it across there and what it does this break open it fractures the ceramic and it and it feels like you put a new belt on it so all right let me uh let me i got my wrench let me pull the drawer out and get under there and pull them bolts out all right before i do anything i got to move this into this room and to do that i got to take down this door if i take that door off i could just squeak that thing in here and uh i'm going to put it right there and that will give me places to put uh, my buffs, my wheels out of the way where they won't get schmutz and dust and grit on them. And uh, a flat place to, you know, lay stuff. So uh, what do I need? Okay, I may just take that door completely off. I don't need a door here. I'll take it off and stick it in there where I keep other stuff, so. Let me get my, my drill driver. Okay, I got my wife coming down. She's going to help me lift this up the stairs into the kitchen. And that is going to be my new Kydex press. Uh, I'll put my oven on there and my Kydex press. And uh, the Kydex will go in the drawers and everything. It'll be handy. There we go. That's my new Kydex processing center. And uh, now, all these are for sale. So, uh, yeah, I don't know what I'm going to do with these. <laughs> Plus, I got, I bet you I got 30 or 40 belts for this. A couple of ceramic and the rest are uh, AO. And then I got extras for this. And I got, actually, those, are, I'm going to keep them. So let's go. Uh, and this is where the big one's going. 
I moved my bandsaw down and uh, oh geez now I got to get my wife to help me pick that up and carry it over here and set it on there okay I don't know I don't even know what time it is but it's been a long day whatever whatever time it is it's been a long day all right I'm gonna take a little break drink drink the rest of my water and uh, get that up on there all right there it is I gotta tell you it is slightly intimidating it's such a a massive machine and uh, I'm gonna have to really practice good uh, <laughs> some good safety around this because you know my my shirt could get hung up in that I gotta be much more careful with this than I did the other one. God, what a beast of a machine. Are you ready to hear it? Okay, get ready to hear the angels sing. Yep, that's a scary big machine right there. Horse and a half. Here, I'll show you the, the stats. I was kind of afraid that, uh, you know, it pulls 12 amps, 12.8 amps. Uh, so uh, I was kind of, kind of afraid I wouldn't have enough juice. See, if it, it uh, 220 would only pull 6.2 amps. And it's pre-wired, so you could wire this to a 220, but uh, I don't have 220, so. All right, there we go. I can't believe I uh, picked that up. That's a, you know, $1,300 machine, and I got for, I got it for 400 bucks. And it is used, but not much. Okay, that's project done. I guess I'll show you the, uh, well, okay. I did show you the kitchen, so I'll show you the uh, uh, the uh, cabinet that I moved into my buffing room. Here we go. So now I got a, some store. Maybe I did show you that. I it's been a a busy day. So my new buffer, when I get it, probably Thursday, will be going right here. And it will be my big, the one that I do the heaviest buffing with uh, because it's a one horsepower. You can put a 10 inch wheel on it. And this, so this is gonna be my black blending bar that goes here. This is three quarters of a horse and it will be used for my green rouge, my green compound, knife maker's compound. And then that is only a half a horsepower. So that will be used for the final buff because I don't need, uh, you know, the final buff, you don't need to bear into the wheels at all. So it will be more than sufficient for the uh, final buff, the pink scratchless. Okay, life is good. I have no knife orders, so if you want a knife, let me know. Otherwise, I'm gonna continue tweaking my shop and when I'm done tweaking I will uh, make out make a few knives and just get to work knife making okay that's the day for me I'm gonna clean up <laughs>